as Bran, Rickon, Osha, Hodor, Summer, and Shaggy Dog are fleeing towards Castle Black following the sack of Winterfell, Mira surprises Osha by placing a knife to her throat so that Osha will drop her wooden spear aimed on the back of Jojin's neck. Jojin tells that they have been searching for a long time so that they can offer their protection. Osha remarks that Jojin must be ashamed to have to rely on his sister for protection, but Mira dismisses her, claiming that some people will always need protection, but that doesn't mean they are any less of a person. Osha and Mira continue to not get along, fighting over simple things like how best to skin a rabbit until Bran tells them to get along. Mira also cares for her brother while he is having seizure-like symptoms when he is having visions. Continuing northward, Osha remains distrustful of the Reed siblings, peppering Jojin as to whether his conversations of magic are helpful. She reacts with horror when Jojin mentions that they intend to go beyond the wall to find the three-eyed raven. Osha bluntly refuses to go, explaining that she lost her husband, who then rose from the dead and tried to kill her. She rages that none of them understand what lies beyond the wall and that there is nothing left for men there. While in the gift, the group seeks shelter from a rainstorm in an abandoned windmill when Mira spots a horse. She and the others witness the man being surrounded by wildlings and fear that a scared Hodor yelling will alert the wildlings to their hiding place, but Bran uses his powers to enter Hodor's mind and make him sleep. Bran decides that he and Rickon should separate and that Osha and Shaggy Dog go with him. Before she leaves, Osha makes Mira and Jojin promise to keep Bran safe. Mira arrives with the remaining members of the group at Nightfort, a long unused knight's watch castle along the wall. Bran recalls a lot of scary stories he had heard from old Nan about Nightfort, but Mira expresses her love of scary stories so Bran retells the legend of the rat cook. Later, a dark figure appears from a well, frightening the group. Mira pins the figure down, knife in hand, yet it is only Sam with Gilly and her baby. After discovering who each other are, Sam warns Bran and the others of the White Walkers, but Bran insists that although he would like to join Sam at Castle Black, he and the others must continue on their quest. Sam supplies them dragonglass, and noticing that Mira uses a bow, gives her extra for her arrows. 